Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the school video head to toe assessment. I'm in the appropriate school attire, wearing shoes, my badge is visible, no polish, no acrylic nails, nor jewelry. Alright, to start the skill off, I will proceed to my patient's room, knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy, put on some hand hygiene, and apply my gloves. I introduce myself to the patient. Hi, my name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? Chivas, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. As I verify with their wristband, and this will count as my two patient identifier. All right, that is correct. Well, as I said, my name is Emily. I'm here to do a head to toe assessment on you. That's literally me inspecting you from the top of your head down to the, your toes. Is that okay with you? Yep. All right. Well, looking at my patient, I can see that he uh, doesn't seem to be any in any sort of distress, he appears well groomed and is sitting comfortably. Um, I would at this point take his vitals, which are blood pressure 118 over 74, heart rate 65 beats per minute, temperature 98.8, oxygen is 99% 99% at room air. Are you in any pain? No. No, patient denies any pain. All right. Well, I'm going to start by taking a little picture here. Okay. okay. Hair appears evenly distributed. There doesn't seem to be any sign of infestation. Okay. Next, I'm going to test your dehydration level, or excuse me, your hydration level. I'm going to um, pinch your neck here, okay? Okay. It shouldn't hurt. There you go. My patient's skin trigger is non-tinting. I'm going to then check your skin, okay? Can you lean forward for me? Okay, let me take a look at your arms. Relax. Okay, bend your legs. Okay, other leg. All right. After checking the patient's skin. It is dry and warm. There doesn't appear to be any abrasions, any wounds, and his bony promises don't appear to have any skin breakdown. All right, I'm going to move on to your face. Let me take a look at your eyes. Look at me. All right, eyes appear symmetrical. I'm going to gently cool down your eyelids here. Sclera is white. All right, I'm going to shine a light in your eyes, okay? Continue looking at me. All right, next I'm going to have you, without moving your head, I'm going to have you look at my pen light here, then look at the fan, okay? Pen light, fan, pen light. All right, awesome. So my patient's pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation. All right, I'm going to take a look at your nose. Nose appears symmetrical. I'm going to gently palpate in your face here, okay? Sinuses do not appear inflamed or swollen. I'm going to shine a light in your nose. Okay, nose appears Moist and intact. Uh, septum is midline. I want you to breathe in and out. Uh, press on one side and breathe in and out of the other. Good. Other side. All right. My patient's uh, nares appear patent. Let me take a look at your lips. Okay. Lips are moist and intact. Open your mouth for me. Teeth are intact. Oral and buccal mucosa are intact and moist. Um, patient's palate is upwardly movable. Right next, we'll take a look at your ears. Turn that way for me. Ears are intact. There doesn't appear to be any drainage. All right, good. I'm going to move on to your neck here. I'm going to gently palpate your lip nodes, okay? Lip nodes do not appear to be swollen or inflamed. I'm going to feel in your trachea here, okay? Trachea is midline. I'm going to check for jugular vein distension. There is none. All right. I'm going to have you move your neck around. Move your head down for me. And up. Okay. Turn left and right. All right. My patient has full range of motion in his neck. Okay. I'm going to move on to your um, lungs, okay? okay? Let me listen to them. Just breathe normally.
Alright, good. Same thing on the back, and then pull just like the front. Okay. Good All right, my patient's lungs are clear in all lobes, and there's no adventition sounds noted. Looking at him, he does not um, appear to have any liver breathing. His chest rise and fall is symmetrical, and there's no accessory muscle use noted. All right, I'm going to listen to your heart sounds, okay? Heart rate and rhythm is regular. Next, I'm going to feel your pulse, okay? Relax your hands out for me. I'm going to feel your radial pulse. Radial pulse is plus two bilaterally. Put your feet together for me. I'm going to feel your pedal pulse, your dorsalis pedal pulse. Dorsalis pedal pulse is plus two bilaterally. Put your hands out for me. I'm going to gently pinch your fingertips, okay? Okay. Upper extremity capillary flow is less than three seconds. I'm going to do the same to your toes. Lower extremity capillary refill is less than three seconds as well. Next, I'm going to move into your tummy, your abdomen area. Can I have you lay down for that just slightly? Okay. There we go. All right. Looking at my patient's there you go. Looking at my patient's abdomen, it appears non distended. I'm going to listen to your bowel sound. My patient's bowel sounds are active in all four quadrants. Next, I'm going to palpate from your abdomen here. Let me know if anything hurts you, okay? Okay. All right, my patient's abdomen is soft and non-tender. Have you, um, when was your last bowel movement? This morning. This morning? Okay, good. All right, well, I'm going to move on to the next one. If you could um, sit up and sit on the side of the bed for me, please. There you go. All right, so I'm going to assess a uh, range of motion, first starting in your arms. Okay, so just lift it up. There you go. So from around. Good. Okay, I'm going to bring your arms up like this in front of you. I'm going to push in your arms. Don't let me, okay? Okay. All right, good. Relax. My patient has um, full range of motion and strength in his upper full range of motion and strength bilaterally in his upper extremities. I'm going to do the same to your legs. Okay, bring one leg out in front of you. Okay, and the other one. Okay. All right, I'm going to push down on your legs. Don't let me, okay? okay. All right, relax. My patient has full range of motion and strength in his lower, full range of motion and strength bilaterally in his lower extremities. Oh, wait, we're close. Uh -huh. All right, lift your feet up just slightly. Move your ankles up and down, circle them around. Alright, bring them together. I'm going to push down on your ankles. Good, there we go. Same with his ankles. Full range of motion um, and strength bilaterally in his ankles. Relax. Alright. Go ahead and stand up for me. I want you to lean over and touch your toes. Good, okay, stand up. I'm going to push on your chest here, don't let me. Good, relax. Alright. Um, my patient has full range of motion and strength in his back. I want you to take a couple steps around here. I just want to watch you walk. All right, good. You can have a seat. All right, after assessing my patient walk, his gait appears, um, has a, he seems to have a good center of gravity. His coordination is steady and well balanced. All right, I know I asked you earlier your name. But can you give me your name again? Jules. Okay. 
And where are you today? Law school. Okay, do you know what month we're in? August. Okay, good. After speaking with my patient, I conclude that he is alert and oriented times three. Now, if I was to rate him on the Glasgow Coma Scale, he would be a 15, meaning that his um, eye response is verbal and his motor response are fully intact. All right, well, I am finished with the head to toe assessment. You can sit there or you can sit up in bed, whichever. Are you comfortable? Yep. Okay, my patient states he is comfortable. I'm going to move my gloves, put them in the trash, hand hygiene, and if I needed to do any patient education, I would make sure to do so before leaving my patient's room. Thank <laughs> you.